So let's look at the following example that will deal with electric energy that is stored within a capacitor. So let's suppose a certain device stores energy within the electric field between a parallel plate capacitor. So if the voltage difference between our two plates within the capacitor is given to be 200 volts and the capacitance of our capacitor is 100 microfarads, in part A, how much electric energy can be stored within our capacitor? So how exactly are we going to go about solving this part? So let's recall that in a previous lecture we showed that the stored electric energy between a parallel plate capacitor is equal to the product of the capacitance and the square of the voltage divided by a factor of 2. Now the capacitance in farads is equal to 100 multiplied by 10 to the negative 6. Now our voltage is given to be 200 so we square that and we divide by a factor of 2. So we see 40,000 volts squared divided by 2 multiplied by 1 times 10 to the negative 4 farads and we get 2 joules. So 2 joules of energy is stored within our electric field between our two parallel plates within our capacitor. Now let's move on to part B. Calculate the power output if the capacitor takes 1 millisecond or 0 0.001 seconds to discharge. So recall that the average power output is equal to the change in our electric energy divided by the change in time. So the change in our electric energy is simply, well it's this quantity minus zero. So it's simply 2 joules divided by 0 0.001 seconds is equal to 2000 watts or 2000 joules per second is the power output of this particular capacitor. Now let's move on to part C. So if you double the electric field between our plates and everything else stays the same, what will happen to the stored electric energy? So recall that the stored electric energy within a parallel plate capacitor depends on the square of our electric field. So if we double the electric field, what happens is we quadruple the stored electric energy between our two parallel plates. So the quantity of energy that can be stored will quadruple. It will increase by a factor of 4. So it will go from 2 joules to 4 multiplied by 2 or 8 joules of energy. 